Welcome back everyone, this is Chad with IREC Veteran 8888. Today we have another suppressor review for you. Today we're going to be talking about the OSS Helix 556. This is one that you guys have been asking about for a while, so we thought we'd take a look at it. Uh, we've had one of these cans in from Big Daddy Unlimited for a little while now. We've been running it on several different platforms and it does not disappoint. These cans are very unique in the market in that they are a baffleless design. Uh, typical baffle suppressors will have a K or like an M style baffle, a conical style baffle. These look more like a jet turbine on the inside and it's for good reason. These do mitigate back pressure on a semi-auto platform like nobody's business. When they say no back pressure, these guys mean it. Let's talk about some of the specs of the can and we'll get into some of the other details. Uh, this is the full size 556 Helix. This comes in at 17.6 ounces in weight. 6.44 inches long and 1.6 inches wide. If you do have a rifle with a short barrel with a long handguard, this may not fit up under all the handguards that are on the market. Just keep that in mind. The construction of the can is 17-4 stainless steel. It's fully welded. You do have some grade five titanium internals and these are a QD style mounting system. They use a left-hand thread pitch on the muzzle device itself to lock the can in place and it basically self tightens. So you will never shoot this can off. We have never had one come loose on any of the platforms that we've shot this can on and it has been great. The muzzle device itself, standard thread pitches, half by 28 for 5.56, standard right hand threading. These are full auto rated for 5.56 and they do feature a black high temp C-series Cerakote finish. We did quite a bit of testing with this can on the meter and then also on the range doing a little bit of point of impact shift testing. Uh, the point of impact shift was minimal with this particular 18 inch uh, superlative piston 556 rig I have here. We saw a POI shift of two MOA low and one MOA left of our original zero when mounting the helix on the rifle. On the meter, this can does not quite perform as well as a standard baffle can at the muzzle, but on a semi-auto platform where you want the best readings is at the ear. And this can does not disappoint I have shot cans that are a little bit quieter at the ear. Uh, however, they do still have a little bit of back pressure compared to the Helix here. We did perform some testing to show the back pressure reducing capability of this particular suppressor. We used the KG made M16 lower on an 11 and a half inch barreled upper that I have set up with a superlative arms piston. Uh, we shot 12 rounds each unsuppressed with an AAC 51 tooth muzzle device. And then we added the M4 2000 and then we shot the OSS Helix. In the video footage, you can clearly see the rate of fire increase and the ejection pattern change, especially when going from bare muzzle or the helix over to the traditional M4 2000 conical style baffle suppressor. Um, we saw 880 rounds per minute with the helix and unsuppressed, and then we went up to 1159. You're getting up into like MAC-10, you know, Mac 11 range, that sort of thing. So crazy rate of fire increase, and it's clearly apparent that these cans really do their job quite well. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the OSS Helix here. This is a very, very cool quality can, especially made for auto loaders, and we have been very impressed with it. If you guys are looking for the data that you saw presented here in this video, check the description box below. There'll be a link to a Google Sheets page with all the data that we've collected uh, thus far on this particular suppressor and on the multiple hosts that we've tested. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I want to give a special shout out to our Patreon supporters and those of you who's purchased man cans and other merchandise, including the t-shirt that I'm wearing over on the website or over on Ballistic Inc. We have a lot of designs available over there and all those profits go right back into supporting what we do here on the channel. Stay tuned, we have a lot more suppressor reviews, gun gripes, firearms facts, range reviews, all kinds of stuff. Military surplus, reloading, you name it, we do it here on the channel. Until next time, stay tuned, you guys take care.